Hello people, welcome back to Follow That, hope you're doing well. So, most wanted, and these are the big ones. So this is Thompson Mission, Brock Thompson for me at the moment, but if you accidentally take them out while you're doing it, you get a different Thompson next time. So let me just explain how this works. There are two locations and they've got signal jammers and there are a bunch of guards there. So I've, I've got the Vigilante here, which makes this incredibly easy because it's ridiculous missile targeting it works. Now the key with this, if you're too slow, so you see top, I've got the second one that you need to reach, which in theory, you see there, it just changed. There I was too slow trying to discover and mess around with the, the mission. And then you'll see that the lorry truck spawns in and you need to take it out before, well, the idea is you're supposed to take it out before it reaches its destination. But don't worry, if you're too slow, then it will just, spo it will just reach its destination. There are extra guards. So you can take it out in lots of different ways. One, if you've got the missiles like this on the Vigilante, you just gotta keep hitting it, do enough damage. Or, if you have the EMP launcher, then you can do that. So here we go, let's just take out these guys. And even if you just keep smashing that mule custom, you don't blow it up. It's pretty tough at the best of times anyway, but anyway. So let's just get rid of these guards and then essentially you've just got to walk up to the back door and that will then trigger the cutscene and despawn your vehicle, which is a bit weird. You can actually call it to get it to spawn back in and then your um, the actual bail office van spawns in. But anyway, so there we go. Cue the little cutscene. Brock Thompson, here he is. And there's some really, there's some weirdness with this. So let me just show you the first things. If you're in cover, you can just shoot at him and he doesn't seem to be able to hit you. Here you go, so I'm in cover position. Bang, 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 just keep shooting, aim for the head and then the health bar goes down when it gets into the red. Stop shooting, like it says there. So otherwise you only get a quarter of the bonus if you actually go further than that and kill him. So don't do that. There we go, so that's in the zone. More guards quite often spawn in as they did there once you've taken him out, but anyway. Take them out. Here we go, and then cue the final drive back. But there's more to it than this. Let me show you some of the other stuff. So you see there's this question mark here. This is what's actually there. So you can go there first. Obviously, if you go there first, because the time is an issue here, if you're too slow, then the van just starts its journey. But basically, there's a bunch of guards here and a whole stack, so you can use these armored vehicles. You see those two armored vehicles there? You can use those, or there's an EMP launcher. Even though there's loads of weapons scattered around, the only one that you can pick up is the EMP launcher. So it's a question of what you want. Like I said, you can get into these. There we go, perfect. So it's the insurgent. So you can get into either of those, but what you're supposed to be looking for is here you go, do you see that appears on the map, the little icon? So that's our EMP launcher, but which basically disables, there you go, EMP launcher, which basically disable the truck. It's just another way of taking it out, up to you. If you get them both done in time, there's a little white marker appears that gives you a spot to intercept, which is about, about there on my map, slightly to the north of that. But anyway, so if you're too slow, as I say, what will happen is it will just keep going until it reaches its destination. And so here it is, just to be thorough. Here's the final destination where it's in. There are more guards here compared to just a few that spawn in, but obviously I've got the vigilante, so it's not really a problem. It's almost too easy with this ridiculous missiles that this thing has. Anyway, so we'll just go through. They're in the various vantage points, some of them up high, which you might miss on first look, up on the cargo ship. Others at ground level. But anyway, our guy just stays in the back there. So not like he comes out and tries to run away or if you're too slow that the game just ends and you know you, you fail the mission. So you take your time or be gung-ho, it's up to you. Or you can just go straight up to the back of that and obviously be left with him and a bunch of guards. Now, the other glitch. Now watch this with the heavy sniper. I'm gonna do a bigger video on the bunch of glitches I found on this, but look. Watch this delayed reaction. Shoot, one, boom. So as he gets up, he then spawns this. So if I do that again, shoot. Okay, nothing happens, boom. Shortly afterwards, he then falls over, I mean, yeah. And also that 
The heavy snipe is one of the most powerful weapons in the game. And look at the damage it's doing. Virtually nothing. You basically want some like special carbine or um, those SM2, Mark II weapons. And basically you need to aim for the head to get that health down. <laughs> what a ridiculous glitch. Like I said, the other thing, if you're in cover, watch again, just to show it from a different set of cover. He's not doing anything to me. And boom. There we go. So to get him in the head from distance and take no damage at all, which, like I say, be a bit glitchy. I'm grateful for it because it makes it easier because obviously that thing is some heavy armour. So there we go. We have done it. That is the mission explained. All the little quirks. And like I said, I'll do a follow-up video with some of the really <laughs> funny glitches that I found with this mission. They might have rushed it out a little bit, I don't know, but I'm grateful for them because I love a glitch, as regular viewers will know. Anyway, take care, hope that helped you out, and I will speak to you soon. Pussy bitch.